No longer have you need for a lion's roar. Have letter number 5737. August 9th, 2016. You live your life. You don't set out to be a hero. You don't become a hero ahead of time. In a trice, you may become a hero, even as you never began to know you had it in you. Everyone has the makings of a hero within. It takes some opportunity for your heroism to appear. It is another person or persons who bring you the opportunity to bring out the hero in you. There are also the little daily occasions that lead you to silent heroism. You are not a martyr. You are not. You are not long-suffering. You choose to give your heart to calm others. You may not even call what you give as patience, for it seems natural to you to bestow peace upon others. You see your life as an occasion for vastness of a kind wherein you respond calmly to those who may appear temperamental and impatient with you. You see others in a different light from the way you used to see others in, for you are not the person you used to think you were. Perhaps it is enough to say that others may see their own hasty reflection in you. They may be impatient or even intolerant with you, whereas you may see your own reflection in them. Now you are able to give them the regard for themselves they long for. Of course, they are worth more than they know and the world knows. And, of course, you aren't thinking about your worth but rather how you can ease another's aching heart. Your kindness and patience are yours to give and so you give. When others are quick to scowl, you see beneath the surface and see what it really is that they yearn for, and you give it to them gladly. You do not call a limit to giving. You think about others yet in the sense of what you can do to brighten their lives. You have more than enough light to give. You are not a doormat. You choose to give the very silence that is yours to give. You don't react so much. Someone makes jibes at you, you choose not to jibe back, not from cowardice nor from self-restraint. You do just what is in your heart. You choose to be in service to me. Where someone sees anger, you may see hurt. Whereas someone sees battle or retaliation, you may well seek to offer relief and release. You go beyond the usual typical reproach. You go way beyond the concept such as... I will give back to you according to the measure you give me. Some might say that you have strong silent courage and yet get no return for your nobleness. That's just it. You are not looking for return. You are not counting. You give your God-given strength to another for free. You come to serve God, and, so, you give love to those who may not recognize love even when it is right before them. You are not looking for immediacy. When others are thirsty, you are looking to give them water to drink. Instead of dancing, you may see others sparring, ready for a discourse on their rights and privileges. You listen to their rights and privileges and denials. You see these others full of battle, trying to assert their rights, so you give them their rights. This is also your privilege. Perhaps you simply are in a place where it makes no sense to quarrel over what doesn't matter in the long run. This has nothing to do with compromising yourself. This has everything to do with serving God in the highest. You grow tall. You give your respect to those who have even been struck low. Through your silence and your strength, you reach down to pull them up higher. For everyone you grace, you rise higher. Where did your ego go? It disappeared. You made peace. You no longer have need for a lion's roar. You hear silence now very well. You found out how to love, and, so, now you love. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org